Yeah, because yeah, everybody can say we'll continue on with the game called Danger Up or Live or Die. Let's go. Where were we? Investigation time. Okay. I can't interact with the body. I guess. Do you want to check the corpse? I really don't want to, but there's no way around it. Boo, boo. Click on the elements you want to investigate. Left to right. Wait, where do I click? I, don't, I can't see my mouse. Oh, wait. Right. There's a small knife lying here. It's covered in blood. Does this mean it's the murder weapon? That's highly likely. It's one of the knives given to us by Monokuma, right? Hmm, the handle's pink. Does that mean a girl did this? It's possible. However, you must keep your mind open for possibilities. Why is it so complicated? Body, body. Oh, there's something in his pocket. A piece of paper. What does it say? Oh, it changed my mind. Let's meet in the laundry after night time to discuss the plan. Interesting. I wonder what plan did they mean? I'm afraid I know. Did you get up propose the plan to someone else? Someone changed your mind, what does this mean? Who, who could have written this? Well, most likely the killer. Yeah. They lured Yukiro here with that note and then killed him. That's horrible. Mm -hmm. Yukiro's head is covered in blood. Is there anything else not worry about it? Do you remember a conversation two days ago? Yeah. He said he had an accident and he could barely move his hand. But is this relevant to this case? Don't ignore any details, even the smallest ones. Okay. It's my name. Indeed it is. But I haven't done it. If not, you must ask yourself, why is your name written here? Why? Well, Yukira couldn't have written that. He had no reason to. The only reason I can think of is that the killer did it to confuse us and direct suspicion at me. That is possible. You should also ask yourself, would it even be possible for Yukira to write this? What do you mean? Think about it for a moment. I think that's all here. What is that? She's like someone who's trying to get rid of evidence. A coat covered in blood. This has to have something to do with the case, right? Very likely. But it doesn't really tell us anything about who brought it here. Oh well. Okay. Hey there, fool. How could this happen? Someone murdered. Saute the kitchen. Oh, really? Those are the knives we used to prepare dinner. Wait. Oh no, one of the big knives is missing. Which means someone took it. Could this be the work of the killer? It's not impossible. Damn, these are supposed to help make delicious food, not kill people. Please give up, Megumi. Don't make it harder for everyone, you idiot. I'll see you at the trial. <laughs> Uh, yeah. People always believe the darnest things. Hey Rin, hello. Do you know anything that might help us? I still suspect you it's the most logical thing to do. But I think I've seen something important. I know who might have been the last person to see Yukira before the murder. Whoa, that sounds super important. Who was it? Apparently, Haruo. Haruo? How do you know that? I saw them tucking in the corner of a hallway. I think they didn't notice me because they just kept talking. Unfortunately, I didn't hear anything that they said, but they looked pretty agitated. When was it exactly? Around 10 p.m. just before night time. So just 30 minutes before the murder. Yes, that's why I said he might have been the last person to see him alive. Other than the killer, of course. Unless he was the killer. Well, that is also possible. Thanks, Rin. That might prove to be very important. Boop, boop. I wonder how you're a pleasure to get out of this predicament, proving my innocence. Don't worry, I'm sure everything's going to turn out fine. Easy for you to say. 
Wait, are those? Yeah, they're the same knives that Monokuma gave us. There's a lot more of them that we were given. Seems like you got quite a few of spare ones. But if they're just laying here, anyone could grab one. Hmm. Yeah, someone's framing the females, the women, because this pink handle. Hey, Sayori. Have you seen anything important yesterday? I don't trust you, she said with a cold glare. Okay, but do you want to help the investigation, right? Well, I haven't seen much, just a small detail. Anything may be important. Alright, yesterday evening, I saw Ayaka coming out of the kitchen with a big knife. A knife? Yes, a kitchen knife. She was looking around, but I think she didn't want to be seen, but I saw her. Don't you think it was suspicious? No, I wouldn't suspect Ayaka of anything bad. Right now, I'm suspecting you. I know, I know. Thanks anyway. So your account added truth bullets. Where is Ayaka? Yo. I don't know what to think about all this. You should sh think about investigating, dude. You really didn't do it, Megumi? No, I didn't. Oh, so that's Ayaka. Okay. Where's the big knife? This is horrible, Yukito. I have nothing to tell you. Thanks, buddy. You should probably check Yukito's bedroom. Maybe we'll find something important there. Right. Bedrooms, huh? Two days ago, Yukito came to my bedroom. And he offered me... No, that's enough of this. I have to talk to Ryo about that. Hey, Ryo. Yeah. There's something important I haven't told you yet. Oh? So... Whoa. I know, I, I still don't know what to think about this. This must be somehow connected to the case. Maybe he offered this plan to someone and they got so mad they killed him. Hmm, I wonder how this is connected to that note we found. The person with a plan for murder gets murdered himself. I haven't told anyone yet because I was sure they would just suspect me even more. Yeah, that is possible. Let's keep it between us for now. Yukito. What's that? Looks like a piece of paper. Well, yeah, but what's on it? <laughs> oh, is some kind of list? A list? It says 1 Megumi, 2 Takeshi, 3 Haruo. What? Why am I number one? Sorry, but I don't think it's a coolest hairstyles or best fashion sense list. I know. Let's take this list and see if it becomes relevant at some point. Yo. Not doing that. Pepe. Nothing. Anything Haruo. H. I can't enter. Alright. Fine, if you don't want me to enter. God, this music's so good. Hey there, fellas. Hey, you're not planning anything suspicious, right? Please, calm down. Don't beat me up. Hey, hey, Megumi. So, I'm um, sorry for looking at you like that, but you know. I know I'll prove my innocence at the trial. That would be cool, really. Have you seen anything noteworthy yesterday? I don't think so. From what I've seen, Yukira has barely said anything yesterday. He mostly just stayed at the back. Maybe just a small thing, yeah? Right after breakfast, I saw him speaking with Takeshi in the corner. But when I came closer, they suddenly went silent. I don't know, it's probably not important. It's something, thank you. Hey there. Oops, am I in danger now? Lamau. Where else? Okay, everyone, time is up. I'm bored of waiting. I hope you were thorough with your investigation because your very lives depend on it. Now it's time for the trial. Please get in the main hall in front of the elevator. I'll be waiting in the courtroom. Oop, 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 oop. The elevator? I thought it wasn't working. Oh well, let's just go there. Doo -doo -doo. Hey Megumi, you're late. Everyone's here already. 
Maybe she's afraid of what's going to happen. Hey, let's not decide to go over just yet. The trial still hasn't started. People still think I did it. But I know I didn't kill Yukito. He knew it too, but he will never be able to speak again. But that means that the killer is someone in this room. Yeah. I still can't believe it, but, but soon I may have to accept it. Yeah, well. Okay, everyone's here. Now enter the elevator. It will take you to the courtroom. In the courtroom, the fate of all of you will be decided. Can't wait, please come quickly. Oop, 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 oop. Okay. Oh no, it's time. I'm scared. Let's do this, everyone. Are you ready, Megumi? I don't know. You have to be the one who will solve that case. You must prove your innocence and uncover the truth. But why me? Because everyone suspects you, dude. Don't worry, I will help as much as I can. But you will be the one who will deal with the decisive blow. So it must be me, huh? Alright, I'll do it. After all, no one here knows as much about murder mysteries as I do. I will do it for Yukiro and for myself. Don't forget to stretch out my back. Ow. Everyone entered the elevator shaking with fear. The elevator slowly descended, making a terrifying sound. Are we going to our deaths? No, I will not let it end that way. It's going lower and lower. Just how low are we? How low can you go? felt as if we would never leave this elevator, but unfortunately, we did. Hey, you're finally here. It took you long enough. So how do you like my courtroom? It's huge. Why would anyone build something like that so deep underground? I don't want to be here. Huh, tough luck. I told you the trial is a mandatory attendance. Anyway, the courtroom is super realistic. It took a lot of cash to decorate it like that, so you better appreciate it. I hate it here. Now, please take your designated places. They should have your name written on them. We did as he asked. Then we actually felt like we were in a real courtroom. Whoa. Everyone looked at the others. You could feel the tension in the air. It was unbearable. Haha, <laughs> bear. All of us were just about to put our lives on the line in this insane performance. And at least one of us would not make it out here alive. And then it began. A game of life and death. A mystery of life and death. A trial of life and death. Live or die, folks. Live or die. Uh, review, yeah. This is it's probably gonna skip this part. Why can't I save, really? Why can't I do that? Fine. Yes. There you go. So, uh... Yeah, okay. Trial start. Okay. Start. Let's begin with a basic explanation of a trial. During the trial, you will present your arguments about the murder and vote for the culprit. Your votes will decide the trial's outcome. If you correctly identify the culprit, only they will get punished. But if you make a wrong choice, everyone else will get punished and the culprit will get to leave. Are you absolutely sure that one of us did this? Yep, yep, there's no doubt about it. How sad, huh? Can whoever did it just confess? Please do it if you have at least a shred of dignity. Don't be stupid, this will never happen. Now enough of the introductions, let's get this going. Let's start with some basic summary of what happened. So in short, one of us murdered Yukito. Yeah, last night in the laundry. Maybe we should discuss the murder weapon. I think we have some ideas about it. Why not? It's as good as of a topic as any other. Okay, let's go. This is it. I have to do it. I need to listen to everything that the others say and look for important points. If I miss anything, all of our lives may be in danger. Tutorial time. Hey, you're just about to take part in your very first non-stop debate. Non-stop debate is the most basic part of a trial. Basically, other people state their arguments while you have to look for their weak points. Every statement has a weak point. However, each set of statements has only one lie or mistake that you have to identify. If you think that something is wrong with a statement, just choose to dispute that claim. Then you have to pick which of the truth most contradicts that claim, and just like that, your rebuttal is complete. You can go through the statements an infinite number of times, there is no penalty. Also, nothing bad will happen if you choose to dispute the wrong statement, or if you choose the wrong truth bullet. You will just feel a little bit worse about yourself. <laughs> I'll come back later for more tutorials, good luck. Okay. Make your argument. We need to identify the murder weapon. Yeah, okay, continue. 
Was it he just stabbed it in the back? Continue. Yeah, but we have no idea what they use. Really now? Was there anything after the crime scene? Yeah. I have to think about this again. Uh, knife next to body. Counter. Actually, I have a pretty good guess on what the killer used. Remember that knife we found next to the body? It was covered in blood. Yukito's, most likely. Which is weird because the pointy thing isn't uh, isn't bloody. Shouldn't the blood be on the pointy thing because you stab him? Hmm, just saying. Just a tiny detail there. So that was the murder weapon. So this is one of those knives the Monokuma gave us, right? So someone actually used it, huh? That seems highly likely. Wait a moment. What about the other knife? What other knife? I think you have to be more specific. You know, the missing knife from the kitchen. The big one. True, there was one knife missing from the kitchen. Oh, I have not heard of that. Yes, the one that Ayaka took. Ayaka? What? Ayaka, did you kill him? No, of course not. Then it please calm down and stay rational. Okay, but why did she take the knife, even though she already had the knife? But, I don't know. I was scared. Scared? Hey, don't bully her. I'm not. What were you scared of, Ayaka? That someone would kill me, even though I already have a knife, but okay. I wanted to protect myself, but even though I already have a knife, though. I can understand that maybe Yukito should have taken a knife, too. Haha, <laughs> I doubt that would have helped me much. Okay, but how do you know it's just for that? It was not impossible for Ayaka to take this knife to kill Yukito. Is that really possible? Make your argument. So it was Ayako who took the big knife from the kitchen, right? Yep. She had it with her on the night that Yukito was killed. Yeah. It's a very sharp knife. You have to be careful not to cut yourself with it. Yeah. Someone could easily use it as a murder weapon. Yeah. And since Yukito was stabbed, it could have been done with this knife. Object. Uh, what? Oh, I can't use the pink knife. Continue, continue. You have to be careful. Object. Really? Okay. Alright, Monica, but file number one. Counter. No, that's not it. Huh? The kitchen knife being the weapon would clearly contradict the Monokuma file. How so? That's simple. The kitchen knife was a very large blade, but the file clearly specifies several small stab wounds. So the knife is too big for those holes. Yeah, such a large knife would leave much bigger wounds. Which means it could not have been the murder weapon. So Ayaka is innocent. Man, I'm so relieved. Not necessarily. All I'm saying is that she couldn't have used that knife. Very well then, so I understand that we have settled on the small pink knife as a murder weapon, right? Very possible. So what information does that give us? The killer must have used the knife they were given by Monokuma. That means it certainly was a girl. Hey, why a girl? Are you that forgetful? The knives had gender-coded colored handles. Pink ones were for girls. I hate this unnecessary gender coding, but it does help us find the killer. So we can assume that the killer was a girl for now. Megumi, think fast. What? Me? How does the knife prove that the killer was a girl? Yeah. These knives were given to my Monokuma, yeah? The blue ones were given to boys and the pink ones to girls, yeah? We found such a knife in the laundry and it had a pink handle. So that means it had to be brought there by a girl. Unless maybe the killer switched the knife with someone else's. <laughs> So yeah, you had to object. Spare knives. Counter. No, we don't know if it was a girl. That's because there were more knives like that other than the ones given by Monokuma. More knives? Yeah, we discovered a whole stash of knives in the tool shack. They look exactly the same as the ones given by Monokuma. And they had the same colored handles, blue and pink. Okay, but how do you know that the culprit even knew about those? Maybe they just used their own knife anyway. No, they didn't. And how do you know that? It's simple. If one person left their personal knife at a crime scene, it would be the most obvious case ever. So naturally, I checked everyone's knives, and everyone still had their knife with them. Ooh. It makes sense. If the killer left their own knife, 
they might as well have left their calling card. I was pretty sure this case could not be that simple, but I had to check anyway. So now we know that the murder weapon was taken from the tool shack. Okay, but does that mean we're back at square one again? We didn't learn anything about the culprit. We didn't learn anything at all? Hi, it's me again, another tutorial. This won't be simple. You already know how to participate in non-stop debate. You have to dispute a claim, but sometimes you have to agree with the claim instead. Okay, pick agree. Okay, good luck. Make your argument. You still didn't learn anything about the culprit. Continue. Maybe it was a girl after all. She took a pink knife from the shack. Or maybe it's the opposite. The fact that it's based on just a boy. How does any suggest anything here? We're lost. What if the knife wasn't actually the weapon, it's just a decoy? Mm -hmm. Agree. Uh, nah, or maybe it's the opposite effect. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yours account again? I forgot about it. Bloody coat. Uh huh. That short knives given consent. Yeah, I believe Rin may be right. What exactly do you mean? The fact that the knife was pink may at least slightly suggest that the killer was a boy. Why? That sounds like backwards logic. Aren't you saying this just to convince us it's not you? No, let me explain what I think Rin meant. See, the knife was left at the scene for some reason, and I think the reason was to implicate someone or at least a group of people. If the killer could have chosen any knife from the shack, it's only natural that he chose the opposite color of their own. After all, if you believe that, the killer would be out of the suspects list. That's more or less what I thought. The killer wanted to confuse us by using the color opposite of their own. Okay, but what evidence do we have that this theory is correct? Exactly. You might just be talking nonsense. We have no evidence. I just believe that there's a higher probability that the culprit is a boy. Okay, that's enough of that. This contradicts our main theory. Right, why are we still talking about weapons and not about the main piece of evidence? The main piece of evidence? You know what I'm talking about, the name written in blood. Right, the victim with his dying breath writing the name of his killer on the floor. That sounds horrifying. Megumi, did you kill him? Hey, we don't know that for sure. I told you it wasn't me. Of course she would deny it. Everyone, please calm down. We just want to know the truth. Megumi, can you stop this or should I help? Um, everyone, it's blatantly obvious that this killer's name is a fake. A fake? How do you know this? If you have any evidence, tell us. If you knew something about Yukiro, one look at his body would tell you all you needed to know. Megumi, can you please show them? Me? It's me again, time for tutorial. Be shown a photo of important scene, you'll be able to highlight any part of the photo you want. The job is to find the part of the photo that holds the answer to the question. Red truth bullet, okay. Photo analysis. What proves that the name written on the floor is a fake? Boo, boo, boo. It should both do you use injured hand. You can use injured hand. Got it. His hand, what does that mean? You see, from the photo, you can clearly tell that the name was written in blood with Yukito's right hand. But that means it couldn't have been Yukito who wrote it. Why? Start making sense. Ryo and I spoke to Yukito once when we were investigating the rooms. Ryo will confirm that if necessary. Sure. Anyway, Yukito told us that he injured his right hand and he could barely move it at all. Oh. So how would he, as he was dying, suddenly use this very hand to write my name in blood? And with such nice letters, no less. You're right, he wouldn't be able to do that. I guess if he wanted to write a name so much, he'd use his left hand. What if he couldn't move that hand? It's very doubtful. The only ones he had were on his back. There's no reason to think his left hand was unavailable. So how was that name written? Well, by the killer, obviously, right? That is the only possible scenario. The killer took dead Yukiro's hand, used his blood, and wrote Megumi's name on the floor. It fit perfectly with the pink knife he also left at the scene of the crime. A perfect setup to make Megumi the obvious suspect for everyone. You see, the killer not only wanted to kill Yukiro, he also wanted to make sure we wouldn't identify him. To use the game's rules and exit the mansion safely. Smart. Wow, that's some next level evil. So in short, we now know that Megumi is innocent, right? It certainly seems that way. Damn. 
I was so sure that it was you. I'm sorry, Megumi. I understand it's not your fault, it's the killers. Right, let's get him together, okay? Sure. Anyway, that means it was a dead end. You still haven't learned anything. Do not worry. I'm sure we're getting closer to the criminal's identity. And how do you want to do this, if we may ask? Let's bring out the big guns. For starters, we know for sure that someone here is planning a murder. Wait, what? You know about someone's plans? Megumi, help me out with that one, will ya? Pick someone. Who came up with a murder plan? That guy. Got it. What? Yukito? How do you know that? I know it because... How do you know Yukito was planning something? Um... Yukito's murder plan. What? But he was the victim. That's why it is so ironic. He was the one planning a murder but he ended up getting killed. So you're saying Yukito wanted to kill one of us? Not exactly, Megumi. Basically, Yukito came up with a plan but he wanted someone else to use it. For reasons, it was weird. How do you know that much about it? Well, I was the one he offered it to. He wanted me to use his plan and kill someone. And you refused? Well, of course I refused. What else could I do? So can you tell us something about the plan? Who did Yukito want you to kill and how? Yeah, maybe it's something connected to how he died. Well, I refuse to hear his plan, so I don't know any details. Oh, man. You could have listened to him, then turned him down. I didn't want anything to do with it. Why would I listen to a murder plan? No matter, we won't change that anymore. So, what do we do now? Let's just continue the discussion. So, what are you supposed to do? The Guma doesn't have any important points about Yukito's plan. I object. Maybe he didn't do anything with that plan after all. It's not like we know anything about him offering it to someone else. Ooh. What if he got pissed off and just killed himself? <laughs> with that many wounds at his back? I don't think so. Really? Oh yeah. Yukito's visit. What? Really? Hmm. Brings a gap. Gives another plan. Brings a gap. Yeah. Counter. According to Rin, she saw Yukito talking to Haruo yesterday, just before nighttime. They were apparently pretty agitated. That's right. Yukito came to him just before nighttime, same way he came to me the night before. So there's a very high chance he came to him with the very same proposition. Well, damn. So Haruo, it's a question for you. What did you two talk about? Very well, I will tell you everything. I remained silent so far because I felt like it wouldn't help us find the killer. And more importantly, it would cast suspicion on me, which I didn't want. Of course. It's true, Yukito came to me with an offer. He told me he had a murder plan and he wanted me to carry it out. I asked him why it had to be me and he said that he felt I was the right person for that. I let him talk for a while and he explained his plan in detail. So he told you the plan. Yep. It was interesting but I wasn't planning to commit murder. I told him that I had to think some more about it then he left. But obviously we didn't continue this topic because the next morning he was already dead. Damn. So if I may ask, can you tell us the details of his plan? Right, maybe it had something to do with this murder. Of course it had. This is when it gets interesting. What do you mean? I mean, Yukira was killed by someone using his own murder plan. What? The same murder plan? How? The very same. To make it more clear, I'll just tell you Yukira's exact plan. Number one, the killer lures their victim to an empty room, preferably at night. Two. The killer takes a knife of the opposite color of the one given to them by Manakuma from the tool shack. 3. They attack the victim with several quick stabs. 4. They leave the knife on the floor, then use the victim's blood to write a name. 5. The name has to be someone of the opposite gender to the killer to fit with the knife. 6. Finally, they participate in the discussion with everyone else, but they try to clumsily defend the one they set up to be the false culprit. Because of that, they wouldn't be suspected even if people found out that the person had been set up. And that is all. But this is almost exactly what happened. Right, except that the, 
Right, except that the victim is the one who came up with the plan. Now that is very interesting. But why should that person kill Yukiro of all people? Logically thinking, it could be because they wanted to get rid of the one person who knew their identity. If they killed someone else, Yukiro could have blackmailed them and threatened to reveal that they did it. The killer must have been scared of Yukiro, it would seem, she thought, puzzled. Yukiro approached me and Haruo. Now where else did I see the two of us together? With all that information, I think I can deduce what happened. You have reached the halfway point of the trial. Yes, please. It's me again, you know what this means? about Logic drive. You drive a metaphoric car. Just drive forward until you see a question appear, then pick the road corresponding to the correct center. Go on. Correct road, you'll be continuing forward. That could be dog. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. What list was prepared by Yukito? Uh, potential killers. Correct. Uh, who did Yukito approach first? Uh, Megumi. Yeah, correct. Yay, move forward. Who could kill Yukiro? Someone who knew the plan, someone who didn't know the plan. Hmm. Left. Correct. Next up. Bam. Congratulations, we got a pot. Pot of plant. <laughs> Potted plant. Summary. List was prepared by Yukira, potential killers. Who did Yukira approach first? Megumi. Who could kill Yukira? Someone who knew the plan. Okay. So this is what happened. Yukira prepared a list of people that could become murderers. I don't know what he based it on, but it's not important now. Did he feel your hidden murders instincts or something? The first person he visited was me. The last one was Haruo. And one of the people he spoke to was the one that killed him. They did it, using Yukira's own plan. And we know that Megumi couldn't have been the killer because she didn't learn the details of the plan. At least it's not Megumi. Convenient. So what? This just leaves me? Did Haruo do it? Certainly Haruo is one of the suspects, but we don't know how many people Yukiro visited apart from us. However, there is one more thing. There is one detail in Yukiro's plan that only applies to a single person. What detail? Remember what the culprit was supposed to do to divert suspicion from themselves? Write the name in blood and leave the knife at the crime scene, right? Yeah, that too, but we don't know who did this. There was one part that only applied to their actions at the trial, though. What do you mean? Oh, I think I know. You refer to the point when they were Oh, I think I know. You refer to the point when they're supposed to defend the person they wanted to cast blame on. Exactly. At the lowest point, almost everyone here was either blaming me openly or at least distrusting me. Not counting Ryo, of course, who was the only one who knew about Yukiro's hand. Therefore, he had a reason to not suspect me, however. There was one more person who didn't know this, but still tried to defend me. Clumsily, but still. And it wasn't just any random person. Who do you mean? This guy. Nah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Got it. Gotcha. <laughs> Takeshi, it was you. What? What do you mean it was me? You're the only other person who defended me. So, I did it because I wanted to be nice. And now in exchange for that, you want to cast the blame on me? I'm sorry, Takeshi, but this is how it looks. That's some crap. Okay, let's discuss it. This is bullshit. Did Takeshi do it? It is true that he did defend Megumi during the trial. Yeah, but that just might be a coincidence. You're just paying at me at random. There's nothing that connects me to this. You're really agitated for someone who did not do it. Let's see. Not in pocket. Oh, really? List of names. Counter. What? Remember that list we found in Yukito's drawer in his bedroom? I could confirm that. 
What does it say? It lists only three names. One Megumi, two Takeshi, three Haruwa. What do those names mean? Well, I think this is fairly obvious. Right, based on what we know about Yukiro's actions, we can assume that this is the list that we've been talking about. The list of potential murderers that he wanted to speak to. I see. I am the first one on the list, and I was the first one he contacted first. Before his death, he spoke to Haruo, who is listed third. Wait, is it raining? Holy fucking shit. And between the two of us, there is Takeshi. It's getting interesting now. Which would mean that at some point between talking to me and talking to Haruo, Yukira did in fact contact Takeshi. Yukira told him his plan, which means Takeshi would be able to use it against him. All the way up to defending me on trial. Oh come on, this is pure coincidence. We don't know if he stuck to the list. We don't even know for sure it was made for this purpose. I don't even have any proof that we spoke about anything at all. Actually, how do you know Yukira spoke to Takeshi? It's like a truth bullet. Uh, Chidori's account? You mean me? Yeah, you were the one who told me this. After breakfast, you saw Yukira and Takeshi talking, but when you came closer, they stopped. Sounds almost as if they were discussing a murder plan. Unless you want to tell us that it was about something else, Takeshi. Ugh. Fine, final talk. He came to me after we ate and took me to a quiet place, then he started talking about spend. It was pretty crazy. I didn't say anything about that because I thought you'd say I did it. But it seems like we have a reason for that. And of course I refused after he told me the plan. I said it. It was stupid and left. That was really what you did? Yeah, of course you said no. Just like Megumi. Besides, if I agreed, he wouldn't have offered it to Haruo later, right? That is true. He just ended his mission to Takeshi. Well, I don't think Takeshi is lying right now. Don't you think so, Megumi? Yeah, it is highly likely that Takeshi refused Yukito. But that just makes him even more suspicious. What? How the hell are you saying? What the hell are you even saying? There you go. It could have been Megumi. If you say it's me, why not her? But Megumi will have to learn the details of Yukito's plan. Then Haruo, he did hear them and he didn't even refuse outright. Now you're just trying to pin it on anyone. Because it wasn't me, why don't you understand? Wow, oh, Takeshi, I thought you were colder than that. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh wait, I'm supposed to agree, right. Note in pocket. Consent. Remember the note we found in Yukito's pocket? And the note, what does it have to do with that? It's pretty obvious it was written by the killer, right? To lure Yukito to the laundry? Yes, indeed. The thing is, it's very unlikely that Haruo wrote this. First of all, Yukito must have found it just after talking to Haruo. Haruo would have to leave it before their talk, then move quickly to meet with Yukito. But more importantly, as Takeshi said, Haruo did not outright refuse Yukito. Right, he just asked him for more time to think. Yeah, but the note says clearly, I changed my mind. It implies that the author first refused Yukito and only then changed their mind. And then they wanted to meet him to discuss the plan again. So out of the people Yukito spoke to, there was only one who heard the details of the plan and then refused to carry it out. And that was Takeshi. Oh come on, this is stupid. You're just speaking whatever comes to your mind. I did this? Ridiculous. What, do you wanna fucking go? Hello, it's another tutorial. This time we'll be talking about duels. I hope it doesn't sound scary. A duel happens when another person directly attacks you while on trial. To win, you need to remain composed under pressure. Between your allies, you will be bombarded with questions regarding the case. You must give a correct answer to every single question in the group to proceed. If at least one answer is wrong, you will have to redo the whole group. I hope you remember all the details about the case. Good luck. Duel. It's totally ridiculous. I didn't do anything. You have zero reason to connect me with anything about that crime. Kira approached Takeshi, uh... Yukira first or second? Right, second. Wait, oh fuck. I, I told him his plan in the hallway. Takeshi originally refused. Kira then went on to talk to... Haruo. The guess what I contacted him in a note. No, that's not it, yeah. Second. 
Halloween. Refuse her rule. No. Your name was on that paper you found in Yukito's room. We also know for a fact that Yukito contacted you, and at first you refused. This will fit the contents of the note Yukito had. I barely knew anything about his plan. How was I supposed to carry it out? He never did anything to elicit in that plan. The killer lured, l you, bleh, the killer lured Yukito in the laundry. Yukito attacked him. The killer attacked him with pink knife. Then they used blood to write Megumi's name. They wrote the name of Yukito's right hand. Kira died because of blood loss. Asphyxiation. <laughs> oh shit. To the laundry. Wait, was it the laundry? Yeah, laundry. Kira attacked it with pink knife. Megumi's name. Right hand. Blood loss. It was very likely that you carried out the plan. After all, you defended me at the trial despite the initial clues against me. I just wanted to be nice. Is this bad now? There is no evidence that I killed you, Kato. Could have been anyone here. Kiro was killed using his own plan. In his room, Megumi found a list of people. Ah, oh, fuck. Again, shit. Originally, most people accused Megumi. The cover was supposed to defend. Yeah. The culprit changed, changed the plan. So, the first is. Film plan. Sumi found the list of people. Originally, most people accused Megumi. Who was supposed to defend? The culprit would change the plan. What? Hiro was killed using his own plan, yeah? Uh, in his room, Megumi found the list of people. Most people accused of Megumi. The culprit was supposed to attack Megumi. Yeah. Defend her, right? Copet went with the plan, right? Went. I thought it changed because I thought it was changed the plan because the killer killed Yukiro, you know, instead of so that's how it changed the plan. You're the only person here who fits all the criteria we narrowed down. You listened to Yukiro's plan, you refused him, you were on his list, you defended me. Everything fits, Takeshi. Now what? Takeshi, all the clues lead to one conclusion. If you have anything to defend yourself, please say it now. Of course I have something to defend myself, listen well. You have nothing on me, nothing. Apart from defending you, I haven't done anything. I have not written any note to Yukito. I can object that. I have not thrown away any bloody coat, I can object to that. I haven't, and I certainly have not written your name in blood. So you just leave me alone, will ya? Object. Bloody coat. Who the hell mentioned anything about bloody coat? There you go, Takeshi. I think that's the end. What do you mean? You just said something very interesting. I said what? You said you never throw away any bloody coat. Yeah, and? Wait, what bloody coat? This is the first time I've heard of it. What a cliche mistake. Takeshi, the coat was never brought up during today's trial. What? For some reason, every time we discuss the details of the crime, we didn't mention this one. Maybe people thought it was insignificant. No matter. Did you tell us what coat you were talking about? Of course, the killer used the coat to shield themselves from the blood. After the murder, they threw it in the trash. Ryo and I found it during our investigation. It was covered in blood. So it was never mentioned during the trial. The only people who knew about it should be Ryo and I. Not counting the killer, of course. Ugh. What if, what if I also found it during the investigation? It was just lying there. Anyone could have seen it. Takeshi, you didn't do any investigation. You were just walking in circles waiting for them to finish. Oh, shut up. What do you know? I haven't done anything. Absolutely nothing. Leave me the hell alone. Takeshi, please, let it go. You've reached the end and everything has become clear. Megumi, would you like to summarize the case for us? Just clean up this mess and list all the important details to everyone. Right, I can do this. Last tutorial, yeah, yeah. During summary, the entire case will be summarized. Go through everything. Comic form, some points of answer, fill in some details, pick correct answer. This is it. The whole case started when Yukito came up with a murder plan. He wrote a list of people he wanted to offer his plan to. 
First, he decided to visit me. Cute, cute artwork. <laughs> Told me out about the plan, but I refused because, but I refused before he could give me any details. After that, he came to the corporate who listened but refused. They listened to the plan and its details but refused to participate. And the third person that he could have visited was Haru. He also listened to the details, then asked for more time. At that time, the corporate wrote a note to Yukiro and left it in his room. After coming back to his room, he found the note asking him to meet him in the laundry. The corporate then went to the tool shack where they took a knife with a pick handle and an old coat that they put on. Yukiro arrived at the place mentioned in the note, the laundry. The corporate attacked him by surprise and stabbed him several times in the back with the knife. After the murder, the killer left the knife next to the body. They also took Yukiro's hand, covered it in blood, I wrote my name on the floor. After that, they took off the bloody coat and threw it in the trash. Finally, during the trial, the corporate continued with the plan and defended me, pretending to be on my side. There was should no one would ever think that they were actually setting me up. And the person who did all that was you, Takeshi Kizuna. And that is all. The whole case. Uh. Seems like Takeshi has no more objections. Takeshi, why? Alright then, if I may interrupt. It seems like you've reached your answer. That means it's voting time. Please vote using the panels on your desk and choose who you think is the killer. Oh wait, by the way, make sure you do vote for someone, otherwise you will be punished as well. So there really is no way around it. Okay, let's do it. Let's see the verdict. Will it be right or will it all go horribly wrong? Can't wait. Well, ow. Oh ho, that is absolutely correct. The corporate who killed Yukira Ishida was none other than our very own YouTube star Takeshi Kizuna. Uh, why? I don't want... So you really did murder him. There's no doubt now. Takeshi, how could you? Takeshi, I think you owe us an explanation. An explanation? What will that change though? It's over. Uh, he came to me with that plan. It was crazy. At first, I got scared and said no, but later, I thought that maybe that was my chance. We won't get out of here. They won't let us, you know? That's because we're a part of some sick entertainment for them. Everything is because of that bear. Oop, oh, poop, poo. Me? I thought that maybe I could get out of here somehow. And the money? I'm sure it was a nice bonus. I could use that to fund my next projects. But most importantly, I want it out. My fans are waiting for me, you know? They're waiting for me. The algorithm is going to bury my channel if I don't upload anything for so long. I'll be finished and forgotten. And that's why you killed Yukito, for an algorithm? So most of you would have done the same in my situation. I really don't think so. Believe that if you wish. Takeshi, you bastard. You reached the truth, but did it make us feel any better about this? I felt like it was even worse. Because now we knew for a fact that one of us became a murderer. And what hurt even, even the, and what hurt me even more was the fact it was Yukiro who started it all. He came up with a murder plan. He wanted one of us to die. He started the events that resulted in his own death. Could I really trust anyone anymore after that? Well, there's a detective guy, so yeah, you could. But no, I'm not angry at him. The true villain here is Yukiro. It's not even Takeshi. It's Monokuma, uh... I thought she was going to say, the sick fuck who is, likes to play these games. <laughs> it's Marakuma. The people behind him. Oh, right. So, that includes me, the player, right? They're the ones that truly killed him. Now, isn't this interesting? Be so desperate to leave that you actually kill one of your friends. People truly are fascinating. I love to watch you all. And Yukira's plan, how evil it was. Planning to have one of your friends kill another. He looks so nice and friendly, but in truth, he was a malicious schemer. You guys might be full of despair right now, right? So many emotions, such intense experiences. All this leads to even more delicious despair. Oh, shut up. We know it's your fault. Right. You were the one who caused all of this to happen. What Yukito thought, what Takeshi did, it was all because of you. I was so angry, I wanted to actually attack Monokuma. Stop. Don't be stupid. Ryo helped me come back to my senses. Right. Damn it. Yeah, better listen to your friend. You don't want to end up on the victim's list, do you? Anyway, you guys did great. I'm so proud of you. You reached the correct conclusion and captured the evil killer. So it's time for our corporate to receive his punishment. What? 
I don't want... Let's just wait a moment, okay? I had no choice, you know? You did murder him, there's no way around it. You could have stopped that planet at any given moment. But you did it. But I... But I... Please stop. We all know what happened. But we also know that the real culprit is Monokuma. Oop oop oop. Without you, Yukira and Takeshi would be able to live on in peace. Everyone, you must stand up to him and to whoever is controlling him. We don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Oh, how interesting. Good luck with that. Regards of that, though. We still need to get on with the punishment. We can't wait any longer. No, no. Oh, shut up. You brought it on yourself. Please, stop. I have prepared a very special punishment for the ultimate YouTuber, Takeshi Kizuna. Wait. It's punishment time! Oh, he's supposed to narrate this. We saw Takeshi tied to a pole. He couldn't move at all. He looked terrified. Then a single coin came flying at him at bullet speed. Holy shit, that hurts. It grazed his cheek, causing it to bleed. Suddenly, a ton of other coins started flying at him from the same direction. Countless coins all coming at him. They were hitting Takeshi in the face and everywhere else. His entire body got covered in cuts and bruises. And then a giant golden play button appeared above. Oh. It kept hovering above his head for a moment before crashing down at him, crushing him. The only part of his body still visible was a bloodied hand. Damn. Brutal. It's like Leon's execution. What happened before our eyes was absolute despair. Huh. No. Phew, that was intense. I loved it. How about you? How could you? What? Is this really happening? I don't believe this. That was an experience. I, I don't want that. What, you didn't enjoy it? Ah, poor you. Well, if you don't want to see something like that anymore, just accept your life here and stay in this place forever. I told you, that's always an option. All of this happened because you guys wanted out so bad. Oop, 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 oop. You bastard. What do you actually want from us? Oh, that's simple. Pure, delicious despair. The same kind you're overflowing with now. You guys are the best entertainment ever. You will pay for this bear. I told you, it's your own fault. Just don't kill each other if you don't want to. That is, if you can do it. Now then, I'll be going. Bye. He disappeared. That's quite a show he did here. There must be a reason. What are you suggesting? Isn't it obvious? I'm sure people are watching us and they're enjoying it. Enjoying all this? So you think we're really in some mafia game in which criminals are betting on who dies? That is highly likely. Or maybe some super rich bastard got bored of regular TV shows and keeps us as his entertainment. Also possible. Either way, some very powerful people want to keep us here. No wonder help still hasn't come. Damn, we're screwed. No matter what we do, nothing can help us. I wanted to tell her to keep hope, but I couldn't. Monokuma left, but we still stayed here for a while. We were unable to accept what just happened and what was still ahead of us. No one could say anything to change the mood. But no one wanted to be the first to leave either. Hey Megumi, you did it. You found the truth and proved your innocence. I guess. But you don't feel good about this, do you? How could I? That's good. You can't feel okay about it. Remember that feeling. Use it to fuel your determination. You will need it going forward. My determination. Huh? Good luck. That's right, I need to stay strong. I will never forget Yukira and Takeshi. What they did and what happened to them. I must learn from this so it won't happen again. Or at least, that was what I was hoping for then. Chapter 1 The Struggle for Survival. And. Ah, oh, my neck. Okay. Survivors. There you go. 14. Who's gonna be next? I could probably. Hmm. To be continued. Can I save first though? There you go. So yeah, that was Dead Rumpa Live or Die. Trial 1. Cool. 
at least it wasn't too wordy like other trials. You know how sometimes a lot of the trials, Dragon Rumble fan games drags on for like what feels like forever. <laughs> at least this one's a little straight to to the point. But the thing is, so, even though it's straight to the point, sometimes it can be because it leaves details out. It it makes you not really too much invested in it. it makes it not. I, I don't know. It it doesn't make it feel like it was people talking and just <laughs> feels like just I don't know straightforward people spouting straightforward things instead of speaking like normal people I think so yeah but anyway this is trial one of Jack Rope Live or Die if you want to try to get for yourselves the links are in the description that is all for today stay safe and take care of yourselves <laughs>